people are they know half of it and they think they know all of it about Chinese medicine. That's why I think it's very important to for people to check check scene like to check first before they apply any traditional Chinese medicine onto themselves. A lot of people have different urban myths about it. That's why I feel that I need to explain more to people that it's actually it's just plain logical belief, systematic belief. Most Western believe that when you have a flu, you should drink chicken soup. But in Chinese medicine theory, that's not always the case. If it's a heat-based cold, if you take chicken, it actually have a nourishing effect. Collect the flu inside of you. So I think there is a need and there is a, a area for it to grow, for people to have an easier understanding of this seemingly difficult Chinese medicine theories. That's why I've been trying to make it sound more accessible to normal layman people. The mocktail bar is actually another option for people to easily access something healthy to drink and that's yummy. And we focus on yummy because it has to be yummy for people to try. We have really good food in Hong Kong so I think it's time to maintain your digestive system. So rice water is the thing that with the theory backed up by Chinese medicine and to me it's mild nature so I think it does its job to help nourish in a way, maintain or like doing a scrub for your digestive system so it could do its job. When your digestive system in Chinese medicine which is the spleen and the stomach, if these two organs are working well and then the symptoms such as feeling tired and drowsy all the time or feeling fatigue or your muscle feels poofy, all these symptoms will actually change.